everyone, thanks for joining Game Trade Media at PAX Unplugged. I'm Gretchen and I'm here with Ted from Bezier Games. Hi, I'm so glad to be here. I'm glad you're here as well. How's hey. PAX been going for you? It's amazing. This has been the busiest by far of oh. PAX that we've had. I mean, this is crazy, yeah. Excellent, so what do you have here? So we have Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet just came out about a month ago. Oh, wow. And uh, so we're showing it off here and super excited and we are almost sold out, but not quite. So All right, so that if you're here left. at PAX. Yes. Yes, if you're, if you're live watching this on your phone while you're waiting in line for something else, you should run over and grab a copy <laughs> before they're gone. Yeah, yeah. obviously. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit about it. So Silver Bullet is the second in a series of silver games. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one came out a couple months ago back at Gen Con. Yes. And this is a follow-up. And the way that these work is they're all self-contained. You can mm -hmm. buy Silver Bullet by itself and play it as a standalone game. Or you can combine it with the other silver games in the series. And right awesome. now there's two, but next year we'll actually be having three more. Wow. And so there'll be, there'll be five by the end of next year that you'll be able to combine and, again, play it individually mm -hmm. in different ways. Uh, the game itself, uh, Silver, the, the basic concept is you've got a bunch of cards, five cards in front of you face down. Mm -hmm. And they're anywhere between 0 and 13 in value. You only get to see two of them to start. Everybody has the same setup. And throughout the game, you're trying to reduce the total sum of your cards as low as possible. You've got four rounds. At the end of four rounds, everyone's going to compare their scores. The lowest score is going to be winning. Um, okay. But the cool thing is, and the reason we have so many different uh, games or versions of this, every single card has a unique special power that does something different that allows you to maybe see other people's mm -hmm. cards or exchange more than one card or steal cards from other players. Can we take some of them of out to show? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead and do that. So um, oh, one of one, kind of one of the signature ones over here, we have a little hunter on the front of the box here. And he's the zero card. <laughs> and the zero is pretty amazing because what the zero will actually do is it actually allows you to kill a card at the time that you score. So when you score, you can go ahead and pick any of your other cards and just actually get rid of that card. And so mm -hmm. it doesn't count as any points. And this, of course, is a zero, which is fantastic. Um, it also comes, the game so comes that, with So that little guy, you really want him in your deck. You want yeah. him yes. in your hand. you want him and you want him face up. He actually has to be face up. And the scary part about that is everyone else can see him. And so they're going to probably use a card to try and take him from you. So then they know. Yeah. Oh, so you got to be strategic. Absolutely. Uh, and the, the token that comes with this is, of course, a silver bullet. In the mm -hmm. first silver game, we had an amulet. That protected cards. And uh -huh. our kind of our one, our, our guy for the silver, main silver game is a bodyguard. He protected mm -hmm. things. This has a silver bullet, which is just a half bullet. So uh, it's kind of cut in half there so that kids don't get in trouble at school by bringing a bullet-shaped piece of metal <laughs> in there. In there. Uh, and you can use this. You can place it on a card anytime, and it actually kills that card for you during the game. So if you've won a round, you've called for a vote, and you've been successful, you get the silver bullet, you can mm -hmm. use it the next round on any card, and you can kill off that card. Awesome. Yeah. So do you want to try to play around? Yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that real, real quick? All right, so uh, we always deal out for, well, I'm going to do this real quick since the cards were in order. <laughs> Um, it kind of That's count. the best, most organized, truest it, dealing shuffling uh, method. I think so. And it also doesn't bend the cards. That's nice, uh, too. If you have the room on the table, I, I highly recommend that. Uh, for silver, you always deal out for four players, even if you're only playing with two or three. But it mm -hmm. does take up to four. Okay. Everybody gets five cards, even the people who actually aren't playing. So we're just going to put those ten cards off to the side. Put this on our little supply deck uh, thing. And we'll turn over the first card as a discard. Awesome. Then, uh, just take your five cards. Do not, do not oh, look not at the cards. Oh, no. You looked at them. That's fine. You looked at I the bottom swap one. That's I fine. can swap them. I can swap them. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Good. You're All not right. going to. You probably already don't remember what they were. Not you really, saw. no. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, put all five out in front of you like this. And then choose two to look at. Okay. Choose the two to look two at. Maybe it'll be the one I already yeah. All right. So just two. Okay. So on your turn, you can do one of two different things. You can either take a card from the deck or from the discard pile. Mm -hmm. And again, your goal is to have as few, the sum as low as possible. So that four is a pretty good card since they go all the way up to 13. So that might be one card you want to take. I'll let you go first. All or right. you can take a card from here and look at it and decide if you want to keep that or maybe use its special power. All right. So I'm going to keep this one. All right. Must be a good card. All right. And then does that mean and I need then to you discard And you can discard any other card. Just slide it in place and discard that other card that you want to get rid of. Uh... Let's see. I'm going to discard this one. All right. I'm going to flip it up. Okay. That's probably lower than a 10, then, um, unless you hadn't seen that card. So it's possible that... But those were the two I looked at. Oh, okay. I'm all right. strategizing. Okay, I'm, I'm that's pretty good. That's all, it's all <laughs> part of 
Give, give, give that. I'm trying to remember how I played this game last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've taken the card. Um, I actually know I have a pair. So one of the cool things about silver is anytime you have two, three, or four of a kind, uh -huh. you can get rid of all those cards at one time if they match. Oh, wow. And so the two cards I looked at happened to match. So I was very fortunate dealing there, or questionable dealing, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but I I'm now understand the those. true reasoning for that shuffling yeah. method. <laughs> uh, but now I replaced two cards with one card. So now hopefully my sum is reduced pretty significantly at that point. All right. So all right. Your turn. So it is my turn. And let's see. Hmm. Well, I'll take another one. All right. So I. So now, now is where it gets tricksy because I haven't seen these cards yeah. yet, but I kind of want to keep this card. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna trust. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. Okay. Use your powers. You, oh. oh you, that was not the powers. That was not the powers. Whatever they were on there. <laughs> so. It's sad. not my lucky day. No. Uh, so that's a good card. So I'm going to take that. That is a that. good card, yep. Anytime you take a card from the discard pile, it stays face up. So uh -huh. that's a bonus because I want this to be face up when it's time uh -huh. to score because I'll kill off another card. And I'm also going to replace a card that I have not seen. Hopefully it's not another zero. Oh, it's a two. Still Ooh. not good for me. Good for you. Good for me. And so I am going to actually, I'm going to take that one. Mm -hmm. And I am going, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of this one. Ha! Much better. Yes. So the two, all those low cards have special powers that activate when they're face up in your village. Mm -hmm. Like this one we said, at the, if it's up at scoring, you get to kill off a card. The two lets you flip a card flip face up over. on your turn. So you can do that right now if you'd like all to. All right, let's see. Any I don't know what this seen. one is. Okay, good. So <laughs> now you know that's a five. You can also flip a card down if you want to. Mm. Now, sometimes you'll do that because maybe you have a zero or another card that you don't want me to remember where it is, and you'll, mm -hmm. you'll hide it that way. That's a reasonable thing to do. Right. Take that. Get rid of that. Have another five. So sometimes it's good to take, even though it's a five, it's not a low card, but you have a five. So by taking that and getting rid of some other card, you'll have a pair of fives, so you get down to four ah. cards. I'm not saying you should do that, but that's an option. <laughs> All right. It's not unreasonable. Let's see. I, you know, I, I can't remember what that one was, but I'm, I think I'm going to go for that. I think I'm going to take this one. And then I just do uh, I actually do it hold on to that. And next turn, you'll be able to get rid of it as All right. a pair. Yeah, so I'm going to do that there. Okay. And it was <laughs> another five. It okay. was a five. Clearly, All you right. did not remember. <laughs> no. All right. So I will take my turn. Um, let's see. I still haven't seen this card. Ah, it's a oh. one. So the one has a really neat special power. So remember before I said you can get rid of a pair if mm -hmm. they match? Well, if you have a face-up one, you can get rid of cards that are off by one. So it kind of adds one to one of your cards. So if you had a four and a five, you could get rid of those oh. as a pair just because you have that in your village. That's a really cool power. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. All right. I wish I still had it. <laughs> kind of sad. So now I can discard two. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to take that well, one first, Take probably. that one first, yes. Or did you, did you want this one, or do you want... That, uh, uh, no, I was going to take this okay. one. Okay, all right, I was that, go that's for totally it. fine. I, yeah. I like the anticipation. I all like right. the mystery. Okay. I, I like, all right. So do I play it up? Uh, it's face down if you face took it from okay. here. But you have this power that so you can flip it face so up can, if you'd like to. I can. Hmm, let's see. Flip one so of your cards yeah, you can over. use that every turn. You can turn every a card face up with, that, with the priest power there. Let's see. Oh, that's ah, a good one. There we go. So the four when it's face up in your village allows you to activate cards as you discard them. Ooh. So if a card has a special power, like with one of these symbols on it that you normally can just use from the deck, you can actually use it if you discard it. So that can be really handy to have in front of you. Hmm. <clears throat> and right. I'm a little envious that you have those face up in front of you. <laughs> All right, so this is one of my favorite cards, and it's a doubly special favorite card when you're the one who draws it. So the 12, the 12 has a special power that when you draw it, you can activate it, and what it does is it lets you give it to any other player. So <gasps> here, have a 12. No! Yeah. Oh, so. okay. Now I understand why he looks like a little gremlin. Yeah, yeah. He's very, he's very happy. He has made werewolf cookies, <laughs> it looks like. So what would be the win condition? So what's going to happen here, we're, this, this round's going to end one of two ways. Either we're going to go through the deck, uh -huh. which can happen, or once one of us has four or fewer cards, you don't anymore, sorry, <laughs> uh, they can call for a vote. If I uh -huh. call for a vote, it means the other players get one more turn mm -hmm. to try to reduce their, their, their cards. We all display. If I called for a vote and I do have the lowest sum, I get zero points. Mm. You get the sum of your cards, okay. which would be sad if you still have that 12. Um, if I'm wrong, though, I get the sum of my cards plus 10. Ah. Also, if I'm right, 
I'm going to get the silver bullet, and the silver bullet I can use the next round to, remember we said before, kill a card. So I might, you might have given me a 12 next round or something, and I can use that to just like roll, forget this, I'm just going to kill that one so I don't have it anymore. Awesome. All right, well, let's see. I think we have time for maybe one, two more turns. Sure, go ahead. Just draw. Go ahead and draw, and you probably are going to get rid of that 12, and then I'll show you something that's very cool that'll happen. I am that. definitely going to get rid of so this 12. So you get 12. to look at that, of course. Oh, I do get to look at it. I put there you go. So, well, <laughs> you're able to do that because the mortician uh, lets yes. you use the, uh, act, the ability of a card, which you're doing right there. So yep. that's the cool thing. You have a little mortician and a gremlin. You're like, it doesn't matter. I'll just discard it, and it'll go to the other player automatically. That's not that useful for me. It lets me view all my face down cards. I've already seen them, but I'll check to make sure they're, they haven't changed. All right. And then my turn again, and I think what I am going to do... So I'm gonna. Oh. oh yeah, you can do that. You can that put that one. Up. I'm gonna give that oh well, you, you need oh. to take a card yep. to discard take a card. it. Yep. I'm gonna and give that to you again. Another twelve. Thank you. Yeah. That's working out just That's, great for me. Yeah, I don't want that. Take them. Yeah. Um. Hmm. And look at this. We've got <laughs> the deck obviously stacked with gremlins. <laughs> so we're going the wrong direction. Just uh, just we're just more. We've decided that. that instead of having the lowest count, we should have the most. We should have okay. the most. All right, I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah. Hostess with the mostest. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, um, so let's try one more time. Okay, so go ahead and draw something and see what happens. All right, there. I will draw once more. All right. All right, I will place that there, and he's up. Right, you can get, so if you get rid can, of that, again, you can give it to I'm me. I'm going to give it to you. And I'm so now I have yet another yeah. gremlin. Now, the nice thing about this, even though I, I have love three gremlins, you gremlins, is that I, if I take a card and keep it, I can get rid of all three of these because yes. they match. So it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Still not happy about it, but it's not the end of the world. All right. So, so, and tell me a little bit about the art on the cards, too. So this artist is amazing. Um, we love this artist. Um, you know, he did the first silver in this one and all the other ones. We have three other decks coming out uh, next mm -hmm. year, and he's done all that. We've seen a lot of that already, and it's so exciting. Um, mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a Russian artist. Mm -hmm. He does the stuff. It looks like he's using, like, some sort of, like, um, Pixar um, 3D modeling software to do yeah. this, but he actually does it all by hand. That's amazing. Um, and, and I know this in a couple of ways. I know this, first of all, because I've seen the files that he gives me, but also he sketches stuff out first. So we actually have the original That's sketches. So cool. And then we see kind of as they get filled in with color. I want to see those. And yeah, <laughs> it is really cool. It's, we have a couple of them on our website. It's really neat to see the sketches. And then we, we give them some feedback and say, what about this? And can you do that with it? And then when they're, fi they're finished, they look amazing. So speaking of your website, where can people go to get more information about this game sure. and about you guys? Sure. So beziergames.com. We mm -hmm. have all of um, all the silver stuff is there. There. Um, on Facebook, we've got a special silver card game group people can join with lots mm -hmm. of people contributing lots of tips and tricks and, you know, their stories about things that they, horrible things they did to their friends and nice things they've done to their <laughs> friends, I suppose, too. <laughs> Giving Mostly them all gremlins, things. of course. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and when, uh, you said you have games still here at PAX. Yes, yeah. We when still have... We are in 2733, I believe, is our booth Ooh. number. So all the way. Excellent. There, so you can so go there to get these games. Yes. And then you have more coming out when? Uh, we'll have more. We have three more of Silver Games coming out next year. So we're going to have one Springtime, another one at Gen Con, and another one at uh, Essen next year. So we'll have That's five amazing. of them. That you'll be able to mix and match and do all sorts of cool stuff with them. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you for playing a few rounds of this game with me and yeah. letting me give you as many gremlins as I possibly could. Yeah, yeah. That was unpleasant. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> And we'll see you at your friendly local game store.